Okay, just had a comment from Dominique, and she was talking about helping a child in distress. Okay, guys, listen, I really, really need to explain to you guys that this is a game. This is a difficult game. Remember the Mount Everest analogy. Climbing up Mount Everest is difficult, but people do it for the experience. Let me say that again slowly. M climbing up Mount Everest is difficult. It's not fun, but they do it for the experience. This is one game, and it is a difficult game, but people, entities, do it for the experience. So that child that is in distress is an entity. It is an entity playing like a child, okay? It's playing the role of a child in distress. This entity knew it was gonna be a child in distress, planned to be a child in distress, knew what it was doing when it created this story. This entity came from perfection, from everything you can dream and beyond, and wanted to have an experience of being a human child in distress. Now, if that entity wanted to be a child in distress who is helped, then that child will be matched on timelines with an entity who wants to save a child in distress. If that entity wants to have a human experience of a child in distress who is not helped, they will not be helped. Because it is that entity's choice to have the experience that they want. And it's not anyone else's business what choices they make. Now, I know as a human with your belief systems, that is really hard to understand that anyone would choose to be in distress, but nonetheless, that is the truth. You are creator gods, you are in control of everything, and you always have been. You may not remember it, you may not be in contact with your higher self that's running the show just above where you are, but nonetheless, when you die, you will see that I'm telling you the truth. So in order to get to 5D, in order to deal with these issues, if you look at it over and over again, when you're looking at these difficult situations, that these are entities, they're gods, they know what they're doing, you will have a far easier time walking through this life. If you count yourself above them, that you're smarter than them, that you know what's best, and you try to interfere with their experience, you will get beat back when it's not appropriate. If you try to help someone who is trying to have an experience that is a distressful one, you interfere in that, they will bite and they will bite hard. I know, I've done it, I've had it happen to me over and over again. These are entities that know what they're doing. If you're drawn to help someone, help them, but have no concern about what the consequences are. Help them back away. If they want to be in distress, your help will do no good. If they want to be helped, it will help beautifully. If you help because that is what you want to do with no desire for an outcome, trusting that that creator God knows what they're doing, you'll be fine. If you insist on the outcome being what you want it to be, you will more than likely get burned and burned over and over again. Okay? Make sense? Alrighty then. That's it for me. Huge hugs. Talk to you later. Bye now.